Good evening, everyone. I know, before I start, Afara. I'm not to waste your time. I'm Maya Olabi from Afara Partners. We're based in Lagos in Nigeria, and we're building a digital bank. As we all know, a bank does three things. Uh, take money as deposits, savings, loan money out to people, and do credit risk analysis. That's uh, credit scoring. And we have, our bank has those three um, parts as separate products. So for savings, we have Lendaba, we have Tanadi. For savings, we have uh, Lendaba and we have Second Score, which is a credit scoring platform. And what we do is provide access to cheap and transparent capital to people and also help them save. Our, our platform allows you borrow money via USSD. Uh, wait, let's see the one. No, there are some infographics I wanted to show to buttress my points. We're very sorry, we're looking for the slide. So, Mr. Afara, you'll have to wait just a little bit. Well, I, I'm gonna give you back talking. your time. I keep on talking. Huh? What do you say? No, oh, no, no, yeah. hold on. <laughs> Let me find mine. Don't slide to the next, don't slide to the next uh, preview. Don't touch the slider. So, in Nigeria, we have uh, 180 million people, depending on who you ask. For political reasons, we could be 200 million. When it comes to disbursing aid, we could be 190 million. We could be, you know, according to census, 160. But the key thing with uh, most Nigerians is they find it hard to get loans from banks and traditional financial institutions. Uh, I won't say we are very poor. We are. Um, uh, when, to get, when they want to get loans, they find it hard uh, with the credit scoring. And the banks themselves do not give loans below 200,000 Naira, which is around $700. It's not financially viable for them. And so what happens is these guys have to go and look for money from loan sharks or borrow from other people at very high interest rates. What we've done is partner with one of the leading switches in Nigeria, the leading switch in Nigeria, InterSwitch, to allow us get data, profile those customers, and give them access to cheap loans uh, between $3 and $100. And all they need to do is just dial a USSD string. We get their data, all their data. We profile them and recommend uh, an amount that we can give to them. So we get how much they spend, where they spend, when they spend. If they get money on a regular basis monthly, if they pay any bills, we analyze that uh, via second score and give them a loan. And we automatically debit them when it's time. So we give them every two, two weeks. And in the very first day of testing, we had 2,577 applications. By the second day, it was 18,000. We did not have enough money to lend to them. And this happens on a daily basis. And aside that, we partnered with Jumia, Conga, and uh, Cars45 to provide asset financing to people who want to buy cars. Most banks will not finance second-hand cars. They will only finance brand new cars. But a lot of people, because they don't have money, would rather buy those used cars. So we said, if you want to buy a used car from this aggregator, come, we we'll analyze you, pay a, uh, an make an equity contribution, no collateral, and from there, we allow you pay flexibly over maybe 12 months or six months, and not our money. So we've connected all those borrowers to lenders on the platform. Some of the lenders are microfinance banks, financial, uh, commercial banks, and finance houses, and we've seen it grow. On Jumia alone, when we started a pilot for just the Samsung Gal well, some six devices and two laptops. We had 8,000 applications in three weeks. We only processed 235 of those because they did not fall within our catchment area of only Lagos must be working, uh, proof of income. And the value of the 235 or so applications was is in excess of 50 million. That's uh, $112,000. And we're scaling that now. So what we did was validate the market. Uh, validate the market, seeing uh, where we had uh, issues and where the opportunities were, and skilled. Now we're, we're moving to Conga as well, who's another large e-commerce retailer. 
and we've seen progress, and we've seen a lot of people need this. On the savings part, we also partnered with Interswitch, who own Verve, to round up people's transactions. So aside saying, oh, let me save uh, a regular amount on a daily basis, or on a monthly basis, we look at your transactions, round it up to the nearest 100, and save for you. And we're starting a pilot with Providos and Keystone Banks in Nigeria. So as opposed to saying we're like Piggy Bank, Carrywise, and Co., we're saying save as you spend. And um, we're also imputing that data into second score. So whenever you need to take a loan from somebody else, you can always check second score and say, oh, yes, I can have uh, history on this person. I can see, OK, yes, it's leverage. He has um, loans elsewhere. And you would not give him a loan, because we know people will borrow from A to repay B and borrow from C to repay like that. So that prevents that. In a nutshell, that's what Afara Partners does. So um, we have three products that make up a digital bank. And yeah, that's it. Uh, we're looking for uh, $200,000 at a $1.2 million valuation. And it's to scale our engineering team and help us expand into Ghana. So you know what? You're very lucky or my Nigerian brother. There's an evil spirit that ate your slides. Yes, I But because I'm a benevolent spirit, I'm going to make sure you present back here again. Are you comfortable? No problem. You're not comfortable. Guys, you've seen what happened, and very, very sorry for what happened, to what happened to your slides. But we're fixing the situation right now. I would like to call the next, uh, the next company, which is Start uh, Soma App, to come and present. And Mr. You will come later on in the...